And welcome back to the Factor Uncensored. Rapper Nicki Minaj has created a tailspin on social media. She claimed her cousin's friend became impotent due to the COVID-19 vaccine. The White House, even Dr. Fauci are involved trying to dispel this misinformation out there. So how careful should celebrities be in using their influence? We pose that question to our panel today. The gang is all here. We're talking about Nicki Minaj and all of these celebrities with this influence. My question is, should they have this influence? We have Young Jazz from 97.9, along with Jay Mack from 97.9, and Todd Smith from Regal Magazine. First, Todd, let's go to you. Nicki Minaj could get a call from the White House now because she questioned the vaccine. Your thoughts about that? Well, I'm not surprised because politicians have always looked out, looked out to celebrities to give a voice to their cause. Like they, George W. Bush, George H. W. Bush looked up to Magic Johnson, looked out to him, talk about HIV. But the thing is, Nicki Minaj knows absolutely nothing about this. So hopefully they can educate her. The problem is she has 157 million followers on Instagram. The CDC wow. has like 2.5. So people are gonna listen to Nicki Minaj more because more people follow her. So with, with too much is given, much is required. So if you have that platform, it's up to you to educate yourself before you lead people astray. I respect like somebody like LeBron James who wouldn't say whether or not he was going to get vaccinated, probably because he realized that if he said the wrong thing, it would have a negative impact on the community. So sometimes celebrities have to just stay in their lane, do what they do, and leave the experts, leave stuff up to the experts. Young Jazz, would you tell Nicki Minaj to shut the hell up? You don't know what you're talking about until you get that 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 medical license or that PhD. <laughs> Think that Nicki Minaj didn't do anything wrong by stating her opinion, stating the fact that she was skeptical about it because I feel like most people felt the same way as Nicki Minaj and Nicki Minaj just getting more flack for it because she has more fans. But at the end of the day, she said her cousin was going through this ball situation due to the vaccine and that is the reason why Nicki Minaj was skeptical about it and didn't want to go to the Met Gala and all these other things. So I feel like her stating her opinion is totally fine and if the White House wanted to her or they want to speak to her in, in private or in public, you know, I feel like that well, should be okay. Young Jazz, what if she is swaying a lot of people in the wrong way and giving them, uh, I guess, the idea that the vaccine is not safe and we haven't seen that as of yet. The science just didn't indicate that it's, it's not safe and that it's not making people impotent. But Nicki Minaj is just another person that is skeptical about the vaccine. And I feel like we can't come down hard on her because she has more millions and millions of followers than somebody <laughs> like maybe Jay Mack who is skeptical about it. You know what I mean? Right. I think that she is just a normal person at the end of the day. And I don't think her influence should make her have to shut up. All right. Jay Mack, your thoughts? Should she be talking? What? Man, you know what? I don't think that celebrities shouldn't talk. Like he said, like she said, I think they have a lot of influence. And if you got the right information, you should be able to say anything that you want to say. I think the problem with Nicki Minaj is when she said her cousins got swole. And when she said his thing got his swole, then the whole situation changed because she held so many people up to go check to see if that could happen, that it made it bad for other people across the country. That's when it became a problem. But, but, but give an opinion, anybody can give an opinion. All right, Todd, when you hear them say anybody can give an opinion, but everyone's not giving an opinion with how many followers did you say? I think it was like 152 million. You so, have to realize. So at this at this point, does it uh, the responsibility stand on the followers to put Nicki Minaj in her lane you have and to do, do their exactly. own research? Exactly. Exactly. I mean, it goes both ways. Like. Years ago, we talked about Kanye West talking about politics. And I've had people argue me down about Kanye. Kanye can't tell me nothing about politics. I think the Donda album is dope. You stay in that oh, way. Well, let me ask Donda. Young Jazz, do you yeah. want Kanye for your president? Oh, no. No, 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 I'm jamming at Donda, too. But he cannot yeah. be my president. Like, we have, to, we have to distinguish between the things. Like, Nicki Minaj is not a doctor. She's another person who's out here trying to figure out what she's going to do with her life because of her kids and her family. So I don't think we can, you know, take it too far. We, can, we don't have to do whatever she does. All right, Todd, go ahead and finish your point. We don't have to do what they do, but celebrities have to realize you've given, you got a platform. It's not just to turn up or wear the fanciest clothes or drive the nicest whip. You have a responsibility once people start following you. It's kind of like when you're a parent. 
when you were not a parent, you can do whatever you want. But when you got kids in your house looking up to you, sometimes you can't say and do what you want to do. It comes with the responsibility. It comes with the platform. So, so that's my point. If you have all of these people following you, I know Jazz looking at me like I'm crazy. Where's her freedom of speech, Todd? What about her freedom of speech? Her, her right freedom. to her own opinion. I agree with that, but it's still a responsibility, Jazz. You got people who might lose their life. You, you talking know, about some Nicki Minaj said, so-and-so, you know, so her cousin, friend, and yada, yada, yada. You know what? The only... The only person she has a responsibility is to her family and herself. I don't know about that, Jay Mack. That's just me. I, I, I believe that because we have been saying this for many years. Celebrities gonna say anything. When yeah. I came oh. up, yeah, my mom but, taught me better. You know. Okay, and, and that's the key, Jay Mack. You, you know, for individuals, for fans out there, use your good judgment, not that right. of the celebrity. Agreed. Agree on that. We, we all can agree on that. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Always good to see you. We appreciate your time here on the Factor Uncensored. All right. Team Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, it's always good when celebrities speak up for a righteous cause, but don't speak up when you don't have the right information. That's our concern.